All right, guys, how's it going? It's the 8th of November, 2019. Hope you had a good fireworks night and I hope you had a great Halloween. Let's just get straight into the Blender news. Not much shaking and moving at the moment, obviously because of the Blender conference, you get a kind of slight slowdown. Blender 2.81, at the beginning of the meeting, still 15 issues on Beacon 3, mainly bugs, and they are talking about pushing the release date back maybe a week. So Blender 2.82, not much happening in that regard. New features and changes, however, key map and general UI stuff, and Cycles gets optic devices, so obviously you've got denoising in 2.81, so check that out. Grease pencil, show selection and stroke mode for single points, handy to have. And that's pretty much it for the Blender developing meeting notes. Like I says, these guys are in a slight come down from the conference, you'll start to see things speed back up, and then obviously you're coming into the Christmas period. So let's just move it straight on to tutorials. Blender 2.8 for beginners, making a 3D lightsaber, so if you're into your Star Wars, shoom, 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 Flip Normals is a tutorial for you. Remember, all links in the description down below. Now this is one that caught my attention, it's CG Cookie. Obviously CG Cookie is a subscription based, but the first 26 minutes are free. Let's have a blast with Blender weapon animations, and this is generally more orientated towards games I believe. Next one on the line is 25 games, how to work with bevels and curves and their weight. So check that out as well. From Blender Made Easy we have Blender Tutorial, Fluid Simulation and Float Particles in EVE. So if you're into your fluid simulations, or you would like to get into your fluid simulations, recommend the tutorial. And this one I really do love, Fast Animated Hurricane Storm in Blender 2.8, Quick and Dirty. That's my kind of style, and that's from Blender Binge. And this is from some guy's name that I cannot pronounce, so we won't even attempt it. The Art of Effective Rigging in Blender 2.8. And this is a course that's been released on Gumroad and I believe Blender Nation. So check that out, it's a commercial. But if you want to learn rigging, it might be worth the investment. And this is from Visual Cube. Make sure you give the guy a subscription. He's only got 208 at the moment, and I know what it's like to have low subscriptions. <laughs> How to create a building from images in Blender 2.8 and this is from game design. So remember guys, support your YouTubers out there, They're, they do a good job. And this is a kind of clickbaity one if I'm honest. I'll be honest, right, this is when it gets the views. Why Blender isn't 3D industry standard. But to be fair, the guys do give good talking points, so it's probably worth checking out. So obviously this discussion pretty much stems from the post that Ton made that was Maya vs Blender. And the irony is, if you actually looked up Twitter, hashtag Autodesk, <laughs> there was Todd's face. <laughs> Brilliant. Excellent. I did make a video regarding this subject, and it was doing well, but I ended up removing it because the community doesn't need drama, right? And the one piece of advice that I said in the video, and I'll say here again, don't let anybody tell you what software to use. Try every piece of software, right? Moving on to add-ons, and... <sighs> It'd be light to say this is an add-on, but Sheer Textures has basically gave away 500 PBR materials. Go and download them. Moving on to Blender Market, obviously, we've got lot view to Active Object. It's $5 purchase. Is it worth it? You tell me if you've bought it. Drop a link in the comments. And you've seen this kicking around. It's $40, or it's just been released on Blender Market for $40, and it's soft wrap. And I showed the Houdini guys this, the guys that are sitting in the community, and they were really impressed. So when you can impress a Houdini user, you're on the right track. Now, just to kind of wrap it up, keep in mind it's November, and the Blender community is absolutely smashing it out of the park with some of these setups. Do a little bit of Twitter stalking, because these guys actually upload their setups, or show their node setups, so you can actually replicate this. Really nice stuff some of these guys are doing. It's mind-blowing what you can do with nodes. So, animation of the week, animation of the week, and this was pretty much a retweet, and it's beautiful car animation, really looks good, and if you've ever done any car rigging, you'll actually appreciate it a lot more. Now, picking artist of the week was pretty damn hard, but this one goes to Mr. Dodo Bird, and that's just a beautiful environment, mate, you're spot on, the atmosphere's superb, and it looks quite complex, actually. So, well done, Mr. Dodo Bird. And this one comes from I Bite My Thumb. I just really like the concept. Modeling spot on, the textures are great. A nice bit of comping as well. So that's been your unofficial Blender news for the week. Do me a favour, guys. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. You know what to do. Peace.